evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan. Welcome to the channel. It's Semiconductor Thursday, and this is actually going to be one of the last videos of 2024. It's hard to believe, right? We're going to enter 2025. We're a quarter of the way through the century, right? So tonight's video, to be part of the future, you got to own part of the future, right? So tonight's video, I put together a portfolio, 10 stocks for you. We got semiconductors, AI, quantum computing, IoT, cybersecurity. So these are the stocks of the future. And if you want your portfolio to really outshine the market, you got to have some of these stocks. So in tonight's presentation, we're going to jump into the program. We're going to break down these lists of stocks as well. First, we're going to start off with the quantum computing watch list. I spoke about last night. I just want to touch base on some of these positions before we get started. So let's go ahead and jump in. Here's the quantum computing watch list from last night. Still putting it together. It'll be in the software. We're hoping the week of the Tampa event. So that'll be the second week in January. So it's coming soon, right? Now, that being said, a lot of updates this morning, right? Look at the price action of some of these stocks. These high flyers form down 4%. The QTUM ETF down 6%. Qubit, that's one of the leaders right now, one of the most popular stocks down 37%. D-Wave down 22%. I gave you fair warning last night. Don't let these trades become emotional. With the watch list of 2025, I want to keep you on the right side of the trades. But right now, protect profits. Don't let these items become emotional. Now, this is what you've been waiting for. Let's put together the portfolio of the future. These are the stocks I have for you going in 2025. All very futuristic companies, right? We've got semiconductors, AI, quantum, cybersecurity. These are hot stocks in hot spaces. Now, some of the big high flyers like Qubit, I didn't put it on the list, right? Because it's down like 20, 30% today. Too much volatility. 2025, I want to make money with ease. So you can see the strategy I have here. I got NVIDIA and Google. These are two very safe companies, undervalued. Now, I do like the idea if you're going to get into these more speculative plays, you know, AI, quantum, whatever it may be, incorporate some of the bigger, safer companies to help decrease some of that volatility in your portfolio. These are the two stocks I have here. Other than that, we got Palantir. This is the one high flyer I still have on the list. $74 up again, 3% today. So it made the list. We got Marvel Tech here. Big Bear AI, Weemi, this is a quantum stock. I was on the video last night. Arm Technologies, I know it's under pressure right now. They've got a lawsuit with Qualcomm, but the stock is becoming more attractive when it comes to the dominance of their processors and cellular devices. There's no way you can have a futuristic portfolio without the company that provides all the technology for our cell phones. They've got a monopoly on the business. So right now, price pressure is on. You can see the sell recommendation with here, Alar. This will be a cybersecurity company. We've got IoT, Samsara, as well, QSI, which is a drug quantum company here. You can see pretty diverse electrical, internet, software. Uh, for the most part, that's the spaces we're going to be in. But look at this. The price action, $69, value $52. So even though I put some undervalued stocks in the list, this space, investors are paying a premium. I mentioned that in the video last night. And if you are emotional, if you plan to get attached to these positions, these may not be the stocks for you. So now let's go ahead and break down the charts and see what opportunities are presenting themselves as of now. Now, just because I'm presenting you these stocks today does not mean to go out and buy them today. We're seeing the market roll over. The Vector Vest 7 system, our market timing signals, they're down, right? We got the DW down signal. We got the confirmed down, primary wave down. So yes, not the best time to be buying stocks. Now, if you bought the dip in NVIDIA, I'm looking at two days ago, we had the low here at 126. If we surpass that, take profits, right? You can see a downward trend forming here. So essentially just draw a trend line. If it breaks that downward trend line there, you know that the bulls are starting to take control again when it comes to NVIDIA. Now it's a big company. Uh, and honestly, I'd like to see NVIDIA get closer to $100 because if it gets closer to $100, I'm going to buy some because that's where I really see a potential for a bag with NVIDIA because we get, you know, low 100 to into the 200s, you know, maybe 2025, 2026. It does give us the best chance for a bag when it comes to NVIDIA. Now, let's see what other positions we got here. We got Google, right? Look at the valuation on the rise. This is one of my favorite MagSev companies right now. And they released the Willow chip. Big news last week. You know, they're one of the leaders in the quantum computing space. And they've got their tentacles and just about everything. So Google, you know, another great safe play going into 2025. Palantir, we're spicing up a little bit. You see momentum here to the upside. Now, I do have a moving average here. I'm going to change this to 40. 
Now, as long as price action can stay above that 40-day moving average, I see momentum for the bulls. Now, as far as the stock itself, the only concern here, valuation, right? The stock is definitely overvalued. Investors are paying a premium, but every week I'm seeing this company get new government contracts. So I have a feeling this money's going to come to fruition, uh, you know, here in the near future. And this value should, you know, rise. Um, but that's my major concern right now. Just the stock is overvalued. So stick to the technicals, use some moving averages, keep it simple, stay on the right side of the trade. Now, if we take a look here, we got Marvel, right? I've been using Marvel quite a bit. It was in my AMA portfolio. I took profits out of it. Look, you see, it is trending lower, right? A lot of these stocks are pulling back with the market right now. But look at the valuation. It is on the rise. Earnings per share, forecasted earnings on the rise. It's a great stock, just not a great time, right? And that's the general consensus of the market. That's why I just want to put these stocks on your radar going into 2025. Trust me, when opportunities present themselves, you know, bottom fishing opportunities, momentum, whatever it may be, I'm going to put out a video and I'll put you on the right side. But here, look, AI company, again, way overvalued, right? under pressure again today earnings per share is on the rise it's still negative i'd like to see it go into positive territory just showing that the company is making money or expected to make money in the next 12 months but other than that as long as rt remains above one the momentum is to the upside i do have the 40 day here you might want to tighten that up maybe use star search eight day moving average something of that nature to help capture profits as far as jumping into it today no not going to do that but definitely keep it on your radar because i think the stock is going to be great great opportunities going to 2025 here's another one we got weemi hologram this one i talked about last night on the um on the 6 p.m. video just because it was right around the valuation here and to find a quantum stock let alone you know pretty much a penny stock that's near its valuation and look right after the video came out shot up hit a high of dollar 50 right now it's at dollar 13. i'd like to see the stock finest level support right around here around a dollar 09 if we see some buying pressure there maybe get in but again this is a speculative play if you're emotional uh, or if you're not a much of a trader this may not be a stock for you here we've got arm holdings you can see the descending channel i've been watching on this look you can see a breakout above the channel came right back in hit my line here i had a feeling it's gonna hit that level of resistance and it did and it looks like it's entering the channel once again now they've got some drama with qualcomm over some licensing and they're going to court for it right so i don't really see this stock taking off until after the news right and we'll see how that plays out but you know they are you know, pretty much have a monopoly when it comes to processors for smartphones and smartphones Let's be honest, it's the way of the future, right? So this company, well positioned right here. Alar, this is a cybersecurity company, software security. And you can see, look, price action, pretty flat right now. Not very hype. You know, these spaces, you can see a lot of hype in them, right? You can see valuation and price action on the rise. Hype is over. The sell recommendation comes in, breaks the 40-day moving average. That's where you want to take profits. Right now, look, the price action, the company's fairly valued. It's right where we value the company right now is there momentum from the buyers right now no we're not seeing that so if you want to do some bottom fishing you know a lar um you know with the market pulling back i can see it getting a little bit cheaper you may want to wait you know maybe wait for primary wave up signal something like that get the momentum behind them uh you know with the market behind you um but other than that i mean the company it's trading near lows right now, $11, fairly valued. Earnings per share was on the rise over the last 12 months. But again, if we look at RT, the technical is just not in our favor. So that's going to be my big concern with this position right now. But it looks like, I mean, the stock was $45 at one point. Might just be a great bottom fishing opportunity while the stock is not getting much attention. Like I've said it before on some of my other videos, the best buy, or sorry, the best time to buy, you know, Bitcoin or quantum stocks, AI, is usually when no one is talking about it, right? So you can see that's going on cybersecurity. Uh, if I had to guess, Palantir is probably taking all the thunder right now, which is in the list. We have IoT here, Samsara. Price action, lower left, upper right. Until a few days ago, you see the sell-off here. Sell recommendation as of right now. Now they do IoT, right? Pretty much they make dumb things smart, like you know, smart appliances, uh, smart wearables like watches. That's what their technology is used for. And we're seeing that technology only adopted further by society going into the future. But with earnings on the rise, again, you know, just not the best time to be buying the stock. If there's any kind of bottom fishing opportunities here, I would be looking at levels around... If we find level support around 42.21, we do see a gap here, actually. Yeah, we're coming on that level of support right now. So if we see a bottom wick or, we, you know, we see a, a break in this downward trend line here. 
Put this on your radar. This might actually be a really good stock here. I see uh, the dip opportunity is presenting itself. So let's just see if there's some buying pressure here. See if there's some you know, momentum changes around, whether it's in the stock or the market. And we might just have a great opportunity. Now, here's the last stock, QSI, Quantum, right? Hey, this stock was $2.60. Right now, it's $1.35. Look at this bottom wick. We're getting a body forming on this. But look, this stock, we valued at $1.36. It's trading at $1.33. Undervalued quantum stock in the drug space. And that brings me to this. Look, I just ran a search. Daily boomers, percent price change, right? These are the stocks, the high flyers today. You see a pattern? Drug, 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 drug. That what last stock I sent you? Drug company, and it's in the quantum space and it's undervalued. I can't tell you enough about that one, right? <laughs> All right, VV Nation, get ready for 2025. The future is going to be here a lot quicker than we're thinking, right? I hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation. I hope these 10 stocks, like I said, some of them, they're presenting opportunities fairly soon, right? Others, keep them on your radar. The market's pulling back. Let the trade come to you. Don't force the trade, right? Don't let these things become emotional. Just like I mentioned last night, some of these high-flying stocks, they're down 20, 30% today. So before you buy any of these things, just make sure that you are comfortable with this type of volatility. And if you're not, stick to the stocks at the top of the list, right? Those undervalued, like the Google, very safe play. Now, you guys enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next week. Everybody have a happy holiday. 2025 is almost here. You know what that means? The clock is ticking down for our flagship event. That's right, two-day investment seminar. January 10th and 11th in Tampa. Now, if you want to visit this in person, there are a couple seats left available. Just go to vectorvest.com forward slash Tampa. See you there.